Hello everybody. Today I will introduce you how to uh, copy your information or data from the Google Drive to the Microsoft 365 OneDrive. Today I will introduce you a cloud service called Mover.io. It is quite simple and easy to use. It can help you to copy your data from the Google Drive to the OneDrive. Actually, it can copy data from several sources to several destinations. But for this clip, I will focus on to copy uh, Google Drive to OneDrive. Let's start by browsing to the website. It's called mover.io. Once you are in the mover.io, click login. Then click sign in with Microsoft. The login dialog may be different from others uh, from person to person. It depends on how you ever log into the Microsoft system. Okay, but in this dialog, if you can see your email, uh, I mean your university email click on that email. If you cannot see it, you may click at use another account. Okay, for me, uh, it is my email here. So I click here and then enter password. And then click sign in. Stay signed in, it depends to you, maybe yes, maybe no. Now I can sign in uh, successfully. I used to use the mover.io before, so I have this information in the select source and the select destination. But for you, for the first time, it may look like this. Okay, if you log in for the first time, you may see the screen like this, right? There are two tabs in the mover.io, this one and this one, okay? This one appear only when you added some task to it. But for the first time, it should be blank here. So let's focus on the transfer wizard, okay? In step one, click at authorize new connector. Authorize source connector, selecting Google Drive single user here, this one. Click Authorize. It will ask for the display name, uh, like a, what would you like to display for your understanding? This is your Google Drive. If you would like to let it be the default, just this name and then click Authorize. Now. Log in in your Google account. Uh, actually, it is the same account, okay? Your email address, the university email address. And then then the mover will uh, ask you to grant the access to your Google account. It's safe to say allow. Okay. If you click cancel, uh, the mover cannot do anything in your account. You have to allow. So in this panel, in this column, it will uh, display your files and folder in your Google account or the Google Drive. Now, let's focus on the step two, select destination. It is the destination that where you would like to copy these file and folders into here. Click Authorize New Connector. Select OneDrive for Business Single User. Not this one, not this one. Only OneDrive for Business Single User. Click Authorize. Same thing, just the name. 
you can click authorize okay sign in as your university email next select work or school account here not personal account work or school account for somebody uh, you may not see this dialog it depends for me if uh, it asks for work or school or personal select work or school enter password sign in Okay, this is your files and folders in Microsoft OneDrive. Okay, in the root folder of your Microsoft OneDrive. These are files and folder in your root of Google Drive. If you want to copy everything in here in your Google Drive to the root folder of your OneDrive, you can just start copy. But if you like to copy to some folder in your OneDrive, you may create the folder first. I test for two times, so I create folder and set the name as form Google number three. Click OK. Now the folder that you just name it created here so you can create any folder okay any number of folder and any name click to select the destination folder it's empty because it's just created now if you click uh, start copy if you copy all files and folders here into this folder in your destination for make it easy, you can just start copy. When you start copy, the system will bring you to the uh, Migration Manager tab. I used to test by uh, copying into in this task before, but now it is the new task. So when you start copy, you see a number in running. See. This means that there, uh, the, the number of tasks running in your account. Which task? This one. It said running, right? Source path here, destination path here, file successful, data successful. Then you have just waiting until the running becomes zero. And you may see the complete or issues or failures or something else. <laughs> uh, I cannot tell you every uh, possibilities but what I can assure you is if the running becomes zero the task finished no matter it's success or not it finished all right so just waiting until the running becomes zero then you may log into your uh, portal I mean that the office portal to see the files and folders already copied from the Google Drive. So I open office.com. It's already logged in here because uh, I have logged in when I log into this, the mover.io. So I log into the same place. So it, uh, like a, it's already detected that we are logged in but if the the office keep asking you to log in you just log in using the university email all right now let's see the onedrive service click here the main menu select onedrive you can see a new folder here with the some uh, special icon here 
uh, it stated that this folder is just created. I click. Now, there are some files here already. These files had been copied from my Google Drive. So this is the tools that help you copy your files and folders in Google Drive into OneDrive. So I think it's already been done here. One thing more. A little bit. This tool is uh, help you to copy data, not like uh, to move or transfer. I mean that not completely transfer. Like when you finish, it will erase everything in your Google. No, it will not do anything in your source. Your files and folder still be there. So if you like to delete them, you have to delete them manually in your Google Drive. Okay. So that's all for this clip. I hope that this clip may help you to copy your data or transfer your data from the Google Drive to the Microsoft OneDrive. Thank you and goodbye.